Hey everybody, this is Grayson here from Proceed to Checkpoint. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're taking a look at a game called Unworthy, which is currently in an alpha state, and we've been provided access to the alpha uh, by the developer here, Alex Kuzmanovich. Uh, we just got access to it uh, last month, actually, but we're a little bit late to get into this one. But I'm going to jump in, I'm going to take a look, I'm going to start a game, and uh, we're going to start from scratch. So what we got here? As we can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's alpha build 1.7. Uh, this is a larger gentleman who is uh, throwing stuff around. Oh, oh. Bone will break. Blood will spill. Flesh will rot. Love it. Ooh. He's got like Loki horns. Oh, so that's a roll. Okay, I like it. Oh, and I seem to have a stamina meter, or some manner of stamina meter there. Oh. Oh, I guess that's my health in the bottom left-hand corner, or my health potions. Okay, so this is... Oh. Dark Souls style a little bit. Awoken, have you, little lamb? Come to join the flock, have you? Many have marched the path before you, little lamb. Many have perished. The shepherds have seen fit to bless you with blade and bulwark. Such gifts should not be squandered. You will find occasional comfort behind bulwark. If time does not call for favor, then brand thyself unworthy. The little lamb must learn to pace her attacks and avoid danger with well-timed rolls, or may soon find herself by the wolf's teeth. Heed my teachings, or find yourself rotting at the wolf's teeth. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of timing involved here. I like that the animation is slightly delayed after you push the button. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Plus 50 sin. Fuck you. Yes. New grimoire entry. Can I open that up? Oh, that doesn't uh, pause anything. Oh, fuck you. Oh, okay. I, I think I'm starting to get it a little bit. Small Sinner's Memory. Okay. So it's kind of like... And I know it's kind of like the dumb thing these days to compare games to Dark Souls. But it's kind of like a... a kind of a, a... A 2D Dark Souls. A Hollow Shard... Caretaker, charged with a five to administer the final burial rites, the caretakers are now all but extinct. The deprived halberd, spawned from concentrations of the most primal, unworthy souls, the deprived are guided by nothing but their hunger for sin. Deprived crossbow, humanity often finds itself in the most vile of places. It is believed that humanity allows for advanced cognitive functionality. Cool. Oh, okay. I didn't see that uh, lever there. Okay. Here we go! Fuck you. Oh. Cool. Oh! I like the animations. I am unworthy. I like the pixel art. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. I feel like the learning curve here is going to be a little steep. You're dead. Okay. Small sinner's memory. Oh. Oh, fuck you.
plus 50 sin. So I leveled up, and I don't know what that does for me, but I'll check in a second. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, so that went better this time. Oh, my shield has to has to uh, come off cooldown. Uh, so it gives me additional health, armor, damage, and stamina, I guess. So let's power on. I guess that this is cut to kind of like build tension as to what's going to be coming up next and not knowing that kind of thing. But it is a little bit annoying that you have to hit that sign every time. Ah, oh, there's my, my, my souls, or my sin, I presume. Um. Fuck yeah. Oh no! I was about to roll! Lame. So what I'm trying to do there is I'm trying to take out the archer first. And then uh, deal with the other two halberd deprived. If I can get a little bit further, I'll be happy with that. Fuck you, little bollocks. Okay. Oh, I took his head off. That was cool. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I'm gonna see... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. So, I, I kind of want to see what's beyond this point. I like the castle in the background. It's quite looming. Quite intimidating. Okay. Done. Level two. That's good. I gotta wait for my shield to come off cooldown before I fight this other guy. Oh! You're dead too, okay. Ooh, that gives me 825 sin. Okay, so that brings another... Okay. And, uh, let's go. Let's carry on, carry on. As if nothing really matters. Brand. Oh, I guess that means it's like a, a save? Yeah, it's a game save. Okay. Oh. Let's see what's down here. Throat of despair. Despair. Sounds uh, fairly ominous. Is this an elevator level? Like in Streets of Rage? Oh, that's cool. I like what they did here. The Catacombs of Ur. Ur. Uh. Oh. I don't know what's going on here. Let me let me get out. Uh, okay, so don't go down there because that's a silly goose thing to do. Because I'm not able to see whatever is around. So I'm going to pass through here. And not give a shit about that. Oh, I got both of them. Sweet. Oh. I like the way the animation is like a big swing up for those guys. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a dude here. I did not see him. Okay. 
And we're powering through. So I guess these just try and get you to use up stamina. Maybe? I guess. Okay, save there. Can't go up there, so I guess this time I do have to go down. But I would imagine... Ooh, the Forgotten Pass. I would imagine that I will get some manner of lamp or lantern. And I'll be able to um, carry on with that other area. I was kind of a bit wary there. They kind of looked like they were going to be bear traps. Um, but they're not, so that's good. Going up! Oh, it's uh, one of those. There was a time when I would return Earth's property to her. And that time is no more. Foolish and arrogant, we betrayed Nurturing Embrace. We burned her daughter and watched her roll over mother's flesh. We watched her suffer to extinguish our doings. Look at us now. Slaves to our own insatiable aspirations. We did not know. Cool. Not sure what we didn't know, but... We'll carry on. As if not... Oh, that's a large lad. He's a tall gentleman. Oh, and that's a wall coming up behind me. Suet, devourer of light. Oh, fuck you. Oh. Cool. Okay. Cool. Oh, shit. Oh. I thought I had a bit of a bead on him, but, uh... Apparently that is not the case. Fuck you. Ah! Oh, dang it, he got me. I am unworthy. The music's really cool though as well. Really atmospheric. Really builds uh, tension there. But I'm going to leave it there for this particular episode, guys. I might continue playing this on a bit in my spare time. This really reminds, reminds me of, like, as I said, you know, a 2D Dark Souls kind of game. But it also really reminds me of Slain from a video that we did a while back. Uh, S-L-A-I-N. Which was also kind of like a 2D uh, platforming gothic kind of thing. It was uh, pretty cool as well. So if you don't know about that, go ahead and check out that video. I'll leave it in, a link to that video in the description below. Um, but we'll leave this video here for now. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel to see more of this kind of thing in the future. And if you have any comments as to how this game plays, how I performed it, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. But as I said, we'll leave this video here for now, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye